In this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an empty space in a drop down menu in Google Sheets. Let's have a look at my example. In Australia, we call sandwiches sambos, and I want to put a sambo sauce on my sandwich. So I have a drop down menu here, and sometimes I might not want any sauce on my sambo. So I want an empty space here. So typically, you can't add normal empty spaces to a drop down menu. Let me show you how to work around this. Okay, let's go into a empty sheet here. Now, if you want a copy of this spreadsheet and you want to play along, there's a link in the description below and you can pause the video now and make a copy and open up and get on into the follow along. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we've got our list of sources here and we want to add in a space here. So typically to add in a drop down menu, we're going to click the cell A2, right click, go all the way down to view more actions and data validation. And our data validation is going to open up on the right here. We're going to add a rule and we will have a drop down, but it's a special type of drop down. This will be from a range in our criteria here. Now we need to select the range. So we're going to click the range here and then it'll say select a data range. No worries. Our data range is going to be from C2 all the way down to C6. Let's click on OK. I'm old, so I think this new style of drop down menu is quite ugly. I'm going to go to advanced options here, go a bit old school with the typical arrow here. And you can see already that we've only got these one, two, three, four options here. And also in our drop down, it's not displaying that extra option. So what's going on? How do we resolve that? Well, first we'll hit reject input and we'll hit done here and close our data validation off. Now, there used to be an old way where you could just put in a single quotation mark and that would work fine, but that has a tendency to break the drop down menu. So we're not going to break anything here. Instead, we're going to have a solution. Now, I'm just going to open this up for you. And our solution is to use a zero width space. What's that? Well, that's a special Unicode character that doesn't have any space in it, kind of for this purpose. Now there's a couple of approaches to doing this. You can look up zero width space and there'll be a, uh, a website where you can copy the zero width space character in and paste it in. Or if you've got a copy of this, you can just go in here to this cell F3, hit control C to copy and control V or control shift V if you don't want any of the formatting and paste in here below. Now let's go over to our drop down menu now and see what happens. You can see now we do have a empty space in our drop down menu. Success. Good job us. Now, one other way you want, might want to do this if it's a little bit easier for you to recognize in your code is to use a formula just so you can see it if you want to display formulas. So let's go in here and we can use the uni character or uni char function. So U N I C H A R and type in 8203. Close the brackets and we're done. And it also offers the same approach here. You can see that the empty space is here. That's it for adding an extra empty space into a drop down menu in Google Sheets. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.